guys, this is Joe Tech from Amateur Radio and GMRS, and we got the Baofeng UV17R. This is supposedly a 5 watt radio, and we're going to test it out, go through some of the menu options. I recommend using a Chirp to program this radio. Uh, I do not recommend doing any other way um, via the menu. I, you can, but it's not as verbose as the mini right i mean you can the cute size difference if you can see the difference um it kind of looks like the uh, 30 the gm in terms of sizes it's very similar everything's identical pretty much the uh the 30 gm pro has um which i'm gonna call it has it looks like the same size screen it's very similar at, at, at where uh, the microphone, where the microphone is, is in the same spot. It's interesting radio. Anyway, this is a ham radio. This is a GMRS radio. Big difference. Um, so, without further ado, let's uh, get right into testing the power output of this and uh, getting right into it. This does have a very unique feature. It has a flashlight on the bottom. And it's pretty bright, so you can actually hold it like, like a flashlight, like a like a flashlight, like you normally would. Just flip it around. It's more useful than the light that's on the top of the radio. This is just on the bottom. Kind of clever. And then it does the blinking, and then off. But that's the only thing that's unique about this radio. So we usually do um, 136 flat, right? So that's what we have. 136 flat. Let's see what we get. No way. What? Wow. 5.98. At That's crazy. Six, almost 6 watts on VHF. Oh, my God. VHF, this is 5.98. Let me just hit that again just to make sure that it's not 6 watts. That's crazy. 5.96 on VHF and 136. All right, so let's go 144 flat. Let's do 144.0 and we get 5.89. Wow, this is impressive. Let's do 148 flat. What do we got here? Five and a half watts. Wow. 5.61. 5.61 watts on VHF. Now, usually, VHF is always higher than UHF. However, what have we, <laughs> we have been testing out lately that VHF have been lower, the power output have been lower like the UV5R Mini, prove that out, getting 6.6 .6 watts on this baby on UHF. VHF was 4.80. <clears throat> this is almost, on, on, on 136 flat, getting 5.98 watts. That's, that's crazy. All right, so let's do 433. Three. So 433 flat. Ah, look at that. Now this is, this is, becoming more what it's supposed to be. 4.62 watts on 433. Let's do 4.45 flat. Let's do 4.45 flat. Let's see. 4.63. And let's go all the way to the top. 4.4950. Four, four, nine, nine, this is the top half. So if you are if you have repeater communications, It'll be a negative shift. So let's take a look at this. Transmit. And we're at 4.6. So, this radio does not put out 5 watts on UHF, but it almost puts out 6 watts on VHF, which is, yeah, which is the typical thing. So this radio is doing the typical output wattage output for a radio unlike the uv5r mini which is reversed 
VHF is always higher than UHF. And this radio proves that theory out because it puts out about 4.6 watts on UHF and almost 6 watts on VHF, which is impressive. So that's, um, that's pretty cool. I was not expecting that on this radio. It is a ham operated radio. It does, it's not intended for GMRS users. However, you can. I mean, uh, it's, you can use it for GMRS, but it's not Part 95 compliant, just so you're aware. The menu system on this is a little clunky. Um, it, go, it brings me back to the, the original UV5R radio, the, the traditional, the one that started it all. So frequency step, two and a half, all the way up to 50. So I'm just going to go through them because some of the stuff is obvious and some of the stuff is, you know, by the way, with the B prompt, I already mentioned the B prompt. If you have that thing on, uh, so the timeout timer, 120 seconds. If you talk more than that, that'll, uh, um, these are the tones, digital and analog tones, transmit and receive. You can scan for the CTS and, and DCS tones with this radio. Um, Interesting. CDCSS save mode. Wow. Voice. That's what you hear going on and off. English. D DTMF ST. S code. Some of these things are not necessary. Okay, this feature here, you get MDF, B, and A. So you can have one show frequency, one show name, or both fr name, both frequency. Auto lock when it turns on, or, or whatever it times out, it automatically locks in five seconds, or whatever. Offset, memory channel, delete channel. I'm just going through the menu because some people, here we go, this is menu exit time. This is much faster than 30 seconds. I'm not sure where, see? What the hell is that? <laughs> So it must be a screen timeout thing that's doing it, not the menu. So let's just continue. Power on password, that's unique. Stopwatch. And that's it. That's all of the menus, the menu options in this radio. So the, the radio, if you're looking for a basic, generic... UV ham radio, you wanted something a little bit bigger than the UV5R Mini, then you can get this. If you want a little bit more power on UHF, <clears throat> it's more than a little more power. It's like two watts more. <laughs> the battery is bigger. Oh, yeah, by the way, there's no rating on this battery. You have to look it up. It's 1,800 milliamp. This is actually 2,200. And this is, look at the size of this. It's 2,200. Look at the size of this. This is 1,800. To be honest with you, I would get the UV5R Mini. However, this is also, if you want something bigger in your physical hand, you don't want a little tiny radio like this, then the UV17R is your choice. I mean, I have so many options here. You can even do the F8 HP Pro. That's another option too. We're not reviewing that one, but we have the F8 here, HP Pro. That's another ham radio. Then you got the, uh, the, the DM32 UV. Beautiful radio too. I mean, we have all these options here. Just today we're doing this one. <clears throat> and I'm just comparing the two because they're, they're similar. They both do the same thing. Menu on this is beautiful. Very intuitive. This is old school. This is like OG. This is like the, uh, the UV5R OG menu system, which is silly, um, but does exist. <clears throat> Again, I recommend using Chirp. For this radio and chirp only, it'd be much easier for you to program. It'd be it'll it'll much easier than front face program, but you can do it. I like it. I'm gonna give it a um, I'm gonna give it a four star rating because it believe it or not, I mean it, it's probably an older design, older radio, but it does what it needs to do. Um, 
again, this is a ham radio. Ham radio only. So if you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Take care and we'll see you next time. <laughs>